I know, it looks like it was put together with the leftover bits of other phones. Hi guys, it's Simon from Tech My Life Video and we're here to talk about reasons not to buy the Pixel phone. Now I've done a video on the reasons to buy a Pixel phone, link in the description so you can check that one out. Let's get into it. So let's start with the looks. It's certainly not going to win any awards for how it looks. It does look like a hodgepodge of design ideas. It looks like it's been designed by a committee rather than a person. It's not going to stand up against phones like the iPhone and products from Samsung, that, the ones that don't catch fire. Uh, HTC, I had to say it. It's just a, not a very pretty phone. I, I, I can't really see why they couldn't have made this a much, much nicer looking phone with really simple design. So water resistance, everybody's been complaining for ages and saying how pathetic is the iPhone that it's not water resistant. This thing is just zero water resistance, like the bare, bare minimum. This phone, like sitting next to a glass of water would be in danger. So the camera, now it's very good camera, but it doesn't have optical image stabilization, which is like a shock absorber that has the camera kind of floating within the case of the phone. It only has digital stabilization, which usually isn't as good. So this phone doesn't even have stereo speakers, which have even come to the iPhone now. So that is very surprising and a big disappointment. So this phone also doesn't have a removable battery or wireless charging, something that Android users have long criticized Apple for not including on the iPhone. So it's a surprising move from Google. The other concerning thing with this phone is software. It's gonna have the latest software, but in six months time or 12 months time when they release a new Google phone and some new software, are you gonna be able to get it on this phone or are Google gonna force you to update to their new phone? Now, Apple have always kind of supported old phones with a kind of a, a diminishing feature set with the older phones as you go back. But Google aren't even supporting the last Nexus phone. So it's a real slap in the face to their loyal customers. So the other thing this phone doesn't have is removable storage. It is a 32 gig or 128 gig and that's it. So the last thing is the price and the price is insane. It is on exactly the same price point as the iPhone. Now, Android users have long criticized Apple for their pricing, while Google have matched their pricing exactly with a phone that appears to have less features. It doesn't have the water resistance. It doesn't have stereo speakers. Just to name a few, it's also not a tried and tested product. It is a new product to market. The iPhone is an evolution of so many phones. It's built on a foundation of evolution of those products. And its design is beautiful. This phone is a hodgepodge with lacking features and they've got the same price point. It is very surprising that they've put it at that price point. I would have expected it when I saw it at launch to be significantly cheaper than an iPhone. I think it'll definitely hurt sales. So there you go guys, that is reasons not to buy the Pixel phone. Of course, link in the description to my video reasons to buy a Pixel phone. Are you looking to buy one? Has this convinced you not to buy one or you may be up in the air still? Please comment down below, love to read your comments. Please give the video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to the channel for videos on all things technology. I'm Simon from Tech My Life Video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. I think we got that. Products from Sangs.